And now that I have officially climbed up the dark, scary stairs, I'm really not a ladder person, I'm discovering. Um, I'm in the top room of the tower. Um, well you can see there are actual windows. We don't have to provide our own light, which is a very good thing. I don't know how well you can see this because of the exposure, but through this doorway here, um, <laughs> this is the big way to get out of the dome. And then you can see I'm going to zoom in. Next to the fan here, there's a window that comes out, and that's how you get actually into the dome. So Lou designed this building as an architect and not as an engineer, because this is a thoroughly ridiculous part of the building. Who does this? Who designs things this way? Um, but this is the top of the tower, almost here. This is a scary wooden ladder, original, um, and we'll move it out original, but it's always historic. And there's a way to get, I think it's up to that hole actually, to get up to the very top of the dome, which is completely um, not, there's no there's no guardrail or anything like that, like it's, it's just a flat roof, so I'm not going up there. But I will poke my head out onto the dome, oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, so to get into the, the dome, like to get to the Clara story there, you actually have to walk on the dome. There's no catwalk, there's no safety, anything really. Um, but looking out, isn't this a pretty view? This is what, probably 30 feet, 35 feet tall. Um, and here's the windows, all the, the inner workings of the dome, um, a lot of the leakings and things are going on inside there. Um, a lot of these, these windows here, the glazing is now gone from the, the original 1898 construction and that's probably what's causing a lot of the leaking. Um, but uh, yeah, this is very cool and 